Generic greetings, and welcome to a game that I shouldn't like, Slay the Spire, and that's because I do not enjoy deck building. I find the entire idea and process of putting together a deck and working out synergy and strategy and tactics and combinations and having to worry about multiple meta levels and also then endlessly alter and add and remove and chop and change and min-max a deck, I find that entire process ranges from utterly monotonous to completely unengaging, and I haven't really gone further than that. <laughs> <laughs> so we should probably close www.massiverant.com forward slash sorry about that but um, either way I the takeaway here is that I don't like deck building which is why although I've played many a tabletop and digital card game in the past and I like the majority of them the actual moment to moment I really enjoy when it comes to the deck building side of it I'm not engaged in the slightest and that's why I just don't play in any great level and haven't played any card game really in any great level for quite some time. However, Slay the Spire is the exception because of one important change that I'll get to in a moment. So this is, well, when a couple of friends were recommending this game to me, I asked what it was and they said, oh, it's um, it's a deck building roguelike. And as soon as I heard deck building, I was oot! And um, no, they persisted and I thought I'd give it a go. And I'm glad I did because I'm uh, quite <laughs> very well into the game at the moment. In fact, over the last three days, I've put about eight hours into it. So um, yeah. Yes, it does have a hook uh, into me, certainly. Oh, by the way, today's beverage is <clears throat> coffee black, no sugar. So I mentioned that the big change that it makes, and that's because a lot of card games just say, right, there's the cards, build your deck, go forward, and I can't stomach it. This one goes, there you go, you're now playing, and then as you progress on, you get more cards and you can add and remove from there. So it's sort of the moment to moment first and then the building rather than the other way around. And I know a lot of other games, yes, they do say, right, there's your starter deck and then you add from there. I understand that, but um, I just like the way this seems to do it. Anyway, let's actually play some of this thing while I uh, go ahead and talk about that. So yeah, I mean, the, the, the big change is that it goes, essentially goes, right, there's your deck and as you progress on, you then get a, a feel and flow of the game and because of that, you can then start adding stuff and removing stuff and chopping and changing rather than being, it's sort of blindsided by the overwhelming number of possibilities. Um, speaking of possibilities, we have three characters, the Ironclad, the Silent and the Defect. I like playing the Defect because they have this orb mechanic. However, we're going to go with with um, the ironclad because well quite frankly they have a sword and hit things let's embark so the way this works is we meet this random whale and I have no idea <laughs> let's just um, get over it now the art style is I, I, I'm, I can take or leave it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's all down to personal preference, you understand, like art style is, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I can take or leave it. It's weird, though. <laughs> There's some weird creatures in this. Um, so we have an option. We can either say enemies in your next three combatants have one HP or max HP plus eight. I'm going to do that. We're going to go with max HP. I'm not going to go through an endless, like... Um, sort of oversight on how this works but basically we have health that goes to zero we die money used to buy things you've got potion slots and also we've got um, timers and this is our main map here so um, we've also got our deck and that's our deck so we start off with a total of five strike cards four defend cards and one bash card that's what we start with so not like 60 cards or anything like that <laughs> it's just there's your cards and then we will get more as we progress on so we'll leave there and we need to select where we start so we have to head up to the boss which is up here and it goes to multiple stages so we need to go and follow these lines so you can see the legend on the right hand side there and you can mouse over that and it shows you what there is i'm going to look for probably some question marks um i think we're going to start here and go that way so we'll click on this monster one and we have now ooh, we're going to be fighting the cultist so um the way it works is we have a number of energy and we play the cards and then they do their thing uh, we do ours and then we'll see what happens after that so they're going to do strategic which is enemy intends to use a, bu uh, a buff now i know that this enemy buffs itself up for damage and it slowly gets more powerful as it progresses on so what i'm going to do is use bash deal eight damage apply to vulnerable and again your mouse over it very readable very very readable the game so you know your mouse over anything and it tells you what it actually does um the tutorial was i think about three pages uh, like three um screens worth and i was in and playing in no time so we're gonna use bash and we'll select our target and it implies vulnerable which is uh received 50 percent uh, more damage from attacks for two turns and we'll use strike and there we go we've taken it down to um, uh, 36 health out of 53 and we'll end the turn there so then they get their turn which is to uh, do the incantation and buff up okay kaka you did not belong here apparently Hmm. So it has got um, aggressive. Um, this enemy intends to attack for six damage. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. So up there, you can see the damage they're going to do. Um, ritual is at the end of the turn gains three strength. Strength just increases their damage. So they're going to hit me for six. So what I'm going to do is go for block of five. So I'll only take one point of damage. Oh, our overall um, 
uh, we've got a, we've got an ability here which is burning blood. The end of combat heals six HP. Um, you really do want to treat this as your most valuable resource. Um, apart from the last boss, but uh, that's because it heals at the end. Let's just do two straight attacks there. We're going to get hit for one damage, but it really doesn't matter. As long as we come out of the fight with max health, I'm not really too bothered. So they're now strengthening up, so they've got nine now. So I'm going to go for one defend. Um, so we'll take three damage, but then I'm going to go with... Uh, do I go with Bash? We might as well go with Bash once again, um, like so. And then they are down to 10 health, so we're going to take uh, 4 points of damage here, so they'll chop off the armor and then the 4 damage there. So we've taken 5 in total, and then they're up to strength 12. So the longer you leave these, the worse it's going to be, but we're just going to use 2 strike, and there we go, we defeated them. And once you've defeated them, we get our overall thing at the end there, which is heal, so we're up to full health. We have 15 gold, we've got a strength portion, and we can add a card to our deck. So this is what I like. You now get the option, and you can start thinking which way you want to go. So very defensive build, very... Um, aggressive build somewhere in between or you can look at the cards and add and remove for a different synergy so we got on flame which is one uh, energy or whatever the resource is to cast mana um, and gain two strength strength is just you know you cause more damage on attack uh, sword boomerang uh, deal three damage to random enemy uh, three times and uh, rupture when you lose HP from the card uh, from a, a card gain strength so when we use a card that says you lose HP, we gain strength. I'm going to go for Inflame, and then we'll proceed to our next fight. So, we have now got some slimy things. 14 health and 20, uh, 28. I think we're going to try and kill this slime outright. Uh, we won't be able to because we haven't got the card. So, we're going to hit it once, hit it twice, and then shield up, and then end the turn. So, there we are. We could, if we want to, use our portion of strength, which gives us two strength, but against these enemies, not too bothered. They've just uh, licked us, ew, so we can uh, deal 25% less damage for a turn. So, they're going to hit us, which is not bad good but I do have enough damage to whack that for one and kill it so we just need to deal with seven we're going to block for one then we'll inflame and do our strength ah I did that in the wrong order I should have inflamed first to give us strength and then hit but to be fair it's wasted at this point because it would have killed the target regardless so there we are but it does matter obviously the bad person hmm so we're slimed so that's going to go into our deck they're going to do um and there's some strategic stuff, a uh, negative effect, so we're just going to hit for it, hit for it, and then we've got a spare card. Uh, your energy doesn't carry over, I believe, from um, each of the actions that you play. So if you, uh, if you, your turns rather, so if you have one energy left, it doesn't uh, carry over. So to be honest with you, uh, with 12 health, I have no reason not just to strike it twice and then call the end of that fight. Okay, so 19 gold speed portion, we'll add a card. So we've got Pummel, deal two damage uh, four times, exhaust that card. We've got Reckless Charge. You can see they also have um, names, so they have a... Um, a type of card, so attack, defense, um, skill, uh, power cards, things like that. Um, reckless charge, uh, steal, uh, deal seven damage, so full dazed into the draw pile. Um, I don't know what dazed, uh, dazed are unplayable status cards. Okay, so they just go into our hand and sort of fill it up. Um, heavy blade, deal 14 damage, strength affects this card three times. Ah, so we've already gone with a blade. Uh, so we've already gone with that buff up, so if we pick that, it means that our deck now, hopefully if we can play that in flame, gain strength, and then do that, it'll be 20 damage because it affects it three times. Brilliant. Okay. Assume, assume that's how it works. Right, we're going to go for an unknown one here. And it is a fight. You can get a fight with the unknown, so there we are. You can also have, like, uh, random... Uh, visits from people as well. Uh, so they're going to hit us for 11 damage. We'll just, I think we'll just sort of do a bit of block and buff. So we're going to uh, block for 10 and then inflame ourselves. Sadly, the heavy blade is there. It's going to go into our discard pile. Luckily, you can't deck yourself in the game. What happens is the discard pile is shuffled in to your cards here, and you can see what is left in there and click on any one of them. Like I said, it's uh, very, very readable. Uh, so they're going to do not a great deal today. So I'm going to do a bit of a cheeky bash, and then I will whack them for a bit of a, a killing blow there and then we'll go back to their turn so they're going to grow apparently so increasing in strength they're probably going to attack so they're attacking for eight this turn you can see we draw we we drew them two and then uh, we have to reshuffle the deck so um i could go for block of two but could i kill it um upon receiving attacks uh upon receiving an attack damage it rolls up and gains four blocks so it's actually got 18 health oh so we can kill it anyway there we go, because we were strengthened up. And there we are. 10 gold, and we will add uh, Ethereal block 10. What's, e what's Ethereal? Uh, if this card is in your hand at the end of turn, it's exhausted. Exhaust cards are removed from your deck. Okay, right. It's only one, though. Ghostly armor. Gain 10 blocks. It's pretty good. Um, twin strikes is good. And I think we'll go with ghostly armor, just because, well, we haven't got much defense there. So, 
Uh, we meet again. <laughs> a cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you, uh, you gleefully. You do not know this man. It's me, Ranwood. Have you any goods for me today? The usual. Fell like me, can't make it alone, you know. Okay. Uh, give the portion. Lose strength portion. Right, but gain a relic. Uh, lose 113 gold, gain a relic. Or lose in flame, gain a relic. I'm going to say lose a strength portion. And our relic is preserved insect. Enemies in elite combatants have 25% less health. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can either go this way, which is a merchant, but we don't really have a lot of money. Um, I'm going to go this way and fight that elite there. Okay, let's go, and then the next one's a campfire. So we've got the th ah, this thing, the looter, so when they attack, they steal money from you. Uh, we're going to go with Inflame, which is gain two strength. We're going to go with uh, Ghostly Armor because um, that'll give us the armor to block the attack, and also if we didn't play, it would be discarded permanently for this fight. And then we'll just do a cheeky attack. So overall, we've buffed up, we've done some damage, and we're going to block all the damage. But they will steal some gold. Hmm. Okay. We now have heavy blow. Uh, 20 damage. <coughs> it would be rude not to. Bang! And you know what? We'll just hit it twice more. Or oh, once more. Um, it's going to cause us 10 damage, sadly. But we had no block cards in there. Is there anything we could have done? Um, could have gained 5 decks. But decks only gives you... Um, improves your block as you draw it. Um, sadly, we can't kill it. We're gonna get we're gonna get some block and then we'll strike it and then we'll get some more block, but there's nothing else we could have done. Um, you can see all them cards that are unplayed go into that discard pile. So they're gonna block up for six and then they'll probably try and run away. Yeah, what a surprise. Cowardly enemies trying to escape. And remember, it um it's got my gold, so I could it with bash, but uh, yeah, it was probably five vulnerable and also apply a massive hit to the head. So we get thirty gold back that was stolen from us, thirteen gold from his pocket, ancient potion, which is gain an artifact. Uh, no, it's not this, this is these are relics, artifact is a um, is a buff for ourselves and then a card for our deck we've got intimidate apply weak to all enemies and exhaust the card that's really good because it's zero cost um, headbutt deal nine damage uh, put a card from your discard pile top of your draw pile oh yesterday I was uh, speaking to a friend about a build that I was making and um, I said one of the um, I, th I don't think I've ever said this before I said oh I've just been in a dungeon I've headbutted a seagull um, <laughs> I don't think that sentence has ever been uttered before. Let's go with Intimidate and progress on. We're going to go to our campfire now. We have an option to rest or to smith. We are going to smith because we're only on four health down. And you can smith the card to improve it. So, for example, bash, if we smith that, it, the cost is the same. It's ba now bash plus. And which was the alternate name for the channel? I just didn't bother to go with it. Uh, we do 10 damage and 3 vulnerable instead. What if we go for heavy blade? That is 14 and 5 times. Oh, that's really good. What about the strength? That's just 3 strength. Uh, that would be more block. That would be too weak to all enemies. I think we're going to go with Inflame and uh, increase our strength there. There we are. Um, and proceed. So now we're going to go on to our Elite Fight 2. But remember, it's got 25% less health. In fact, there you go. It's actually removed that. Ah, so it's 25% less HP. Not max HP. It actually takes the damage off. Well, same sort of thing. Uh, actually, it's not the same sort of thing. If it was 25% less, it means that it would never be able to heal up, but at the moment it's taking 25% damage, which means it can heal up, so that is a big difference. Um, so we've got Bash and Heavy Blade there. I'm going to give it a cheeky Bash there, and then I am going to play um, Ghostly Armor, because um, I only had one, uh, one energy left anyway, and if I don't play it, I will lose it for the fight. And I have a feeling we're going to have to... Uh, keep this. So you can see this thing is quite asleep. It uh, gains armor basically, but once we've um, done enough damage, it will um, well, it'll wake up. So we're going to do that now. So we'll intimidate to apply weak, which is 25% less damage for a turn. That's not going to matter, but you know, it's only one uh, cost anyway. And then we're just going to slice and dice for a couple of uh, attacks there. Their turn now. And let's see what they're going to do. Looks like it was stunned and now it's going to attack me for 18 damage. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we're going to inflame then. Um... We will neck this dexterity potion and then use that to gain 10 block and then I guess we'll hit it for one point of uh, nine, 9 damage, we'll attack at once. It's going to hit us for 8 damage though, which is a bit of a shame, but at least our potion sorted that out. Um, we didn't need to use that per se, it was just uh, I think pretty good. Oh, look at that, deal, <laughs> deal th uh, 23 damage. Uh, we are going to go with our 10 block, um, we could go with 15 block, but I think whacking it with heavy blade is... Um, all kinds of good because you know this is the best form of defense is a good attack and all of that uh, what's it gonna do now um, it's gonna do mm, know, heavy blade again why not and then um, sadly we don't have enough to play something else so we'll just do that and the turn we should be able to kill it next turn what's it gonna do siphon soul that sounds naughty it's um he taking some taking some strength off me yeah it took one strength off me so it's gonna hit me for a bit but I don't really care there you go kill 
Okay, uh, so we've gained some gold and a regal pillow. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 experience, uh, 15 HP. So we've got Shrug It Off, gain 8 block, draw 1 card. Berserk, gain Vulnerable at the start of your turn, gain a energy. Now this is a power card, so it's essentially a permanent. You play it and it goes on your character for the remainder of that fight. Um, being Vulnerable, no, 50% damage from attacks, permanently, no thank you, and double tap. Um, 1 energy, this turn your next attack is played twice. Both of those are good, but I'll go with double tap because we might look out. <laughs> we might look out and um, let's smith here. Um, and get like say that and that. And we can actually say the next two uh, the next two attacks. Strength attacks it five, uh, five times. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to try and uh, synergize with a double tap. Confirm that one. There we go. Um, so we will go on to this, and this is a chest. We gain 25 gold and a bag of marbles. Um, at the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, unknown thing here. Um, and it's enemies. These horrible fungi beasts. Oh, we've got the double tap, and then we've got heavy blade. Right, so, as much as I really want to play... Uh, see, I could get... In, ah, the inflames here as well. So, if we play in double tap, it's going to cost us one. And then heavy blade, that would hit it for 28 damage. That would kill one of them, wouldn't it? Yes, whereas if instead if we went with inflame, which is three strength, then double tap... And then we wouldn't have enough for blade, but we would have enough for strike. That would mean that we do um, 9 damage, 18 damage. So actually the way forward is to do a double tap and then do this. And absolutely annihilate it. Oh, but we're also... Uh, we're also... Uh, wow. Vulnerable. What am I vulnerable? Start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. No. Anyway, um, and that's it. We didn't use our inflame, but uh, still, it uh, it worked out to kill one enemy straight away, which I think is uh, good. They're gonna now hit for th ooh for thirteen. I'm gonna block ten of that, um, and I do want to start healing up a bit. So I'm gonna block a bit more, or do I go for bash? No, I think I think block and then just hit it a little bit like that. We can um, we can tank it. Like I said, the most precious resource is your hit points. Um, Unless you want to go, I guess you could go for a build where it's the amount of damage you've taken you do back. There is cards that will do that. Intimidate costs zero, so I might as well apply weak to them so their uh, so their attack goes down by one. I might as well just attack it twice and uh, one defense, so it's on ten health, which means hopefully we can kill it next turn. So I'm taking one point of damage there, and then they are going to do something that I'm really not concerned about because I'm going to do that and then that. And then that, and then there's that one killed. Okay, so a fairly easy fight again. 20 gold, and we've got um, Twin Strike. We've seen that before. Damage uh, Deal 5 damage twice. We've got uh, the Pommel Strike. Deal 9 damage, draw a card, and Carnage. Uh, deal 20 damage, 20 cost. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so we're going to go for, once again, the question mark. Uh, and we've got a trader. So we do have 230 gold. You can see you can buy things like Blood Vial at the start of each combat heal 2 HP. Brilliant. Abacus. Whenever you shuffle your discard pile, gain 6 block. Um, we've got cards here as well. These are your class cards. I said there's 3 classes in the game, which I'll show you when we're loading in. And then we've got these, um, I guess, sort of, um, these grey cards, which is sort of universal one. Um... Exhaust all cards in your hand, deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. Ooh, okay, and then exhaust that one. Um, gain 7 block, exhaust random card in hand. Dual wheel, choose an attack or power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. Um, we could go for <laughs> Inflame and just have two Inflames. That may work. That may work. Um, do we need that? I think, I, think, I think we do need that. I think we're going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to buy the Blood Vial, which uh, heals us at the start of our turn. Right. Um, so, um, there we are. Proceed. So, lots of slimes. This is where we could fall down because we don't we don't really have a lot of... Um, we, don't, we only really have single target damage. We're going to defend as best we can. Um, 
Defend, defend, and then we'll just strike. We'll just work. F we'll just work forward and that way. Uh, this, this, f we'll work forward, back over. The sequence doesn't matter because the attack forward, forward, and then back over, um, like that. I mean, they're all going to attack anyway, but in this particular case, it matters not. And oh, that's going to be bad. Um, we've managed to show just how much damage we are going to take this turn, like in total. Um, of course, the armor. Um, probably weak to all enemies, which will reduce their damage. There we go, that's okay. So, 3-6, three, 3-6-9, six, three, six, 10 times 12, 13. Hang on, 3-6-9. Yeah, 13. So, we are going to... Um, just block the full thing. And even if we play a double tap, it's not going to do anything, because it's just the end of the turn. Yeah, I think just tank this one. We can tank this without really a big issue there. I have done a build where it's um, every time we like get hit, we do some damage back, which is fairly cool. You just shield up. We can has war off there. Uh, there's in flame, gain strength, and then oh, choose an attack or power card. Right. So we got two in flames. So we're going in flame, in flame, <laughs> and um, that means we're now doing oh, nine damage. Ah, because we're weakened. Right, okay. Um, I will use this on... Oh, we can't do it. We've used all the energy. Okay. So we'll just get hit for, well, a lot of damage here. Uh, we're getting weakened again. And see, so if we had any area effect, it would be quite good. Um, don't really need an artifact, although maybe... No, because it, an artifact negates the next debuff, but the problem is the way they're doing their turns, it's simply just... Uh, well, th there's lots of them doing it. And there's no big deal with just this little uh, weakened one. Okay, so I'm going to strike that one, get it killed. And I'm going to defend and then defend. It's still going to hurt this, though. We're still going to take 7 damage, I think. Not 8 damage, I think, in total. But we'll see. Uh, 66 out of 88 health. Remember, we do heal 2 at the start and then 6 at the end. So, not really too bothered. Uh, straight away, I saw the course, yeah, and we'll get that. Uh, Bash, which is imply vulnerable. Um, although, I think, to be honest with you... It actually doesn't matter which one we play, because whatever we do, we're going to have to... Well, we'll just try and kill one. There we go. And, uh, we're go I mean, we're going to win the fight. There's no danger of us losing this fight, really. Um, it's just, well, there is there is always a possibility you draw wrong constantly, but eventually we'll get the cards we want. And you can see now we've got exhausted cards over here. Um, so they don't come back. Dual wield. I don't think I want to do that, but I do want to use my ghostly armor. I do want to uh, defend, and then I will whack that one for nine damage. And we'll probably finish that off next turn. In fact, I think regardless of what we do, we need to finish that off. Because if you just stand there and just take the just take the hits, it's okay. But eventually, uh, you're going to draw the wrong one. Um, sadly, that's not even attacking, but we'll do that. And um, yeah, there you go. We need one more energy, ideally, for the synergy we're going for, which is using double tap on the attacks. Especially when we're trying to play defense there. So they're attacking again. Uh, the question is, do I just... Oh, I deal 12 damage. Well, rude not to do that. And then one defense and then 12 damage. And then next turn, we'll uh, be able to take care of business. There we go. They've brocked that. And then... Doesn't really matter what we draw, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. Go on. Could play the cards. Doesn't matter because we won anyway. Right, so that's what I want. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all enemies for each attack played. That's pretty good. Clash, yeah, shrug it off his eight block, draw a card, and clash only played if every card in your in your hand is an attack, deal 14 damage. Now we're gonna go with fire breathing. And then what's this? It is oh um jawworm and slime. Right, ghostly armor, and we're just going to go for carnage. And just we've we've seen the card. We're going to put them on one health. Uh, <laughs> there's no reason not to absolutely get that uh, slime squished. So there we go. Um, it's probably going to attack now anyway. No, it's not. It's not going to attack, which is fine. Um, right. So I don't really want dual wield. I do want to slice there. I do want to block. Even though ah, right. They've got this um, frail, 25% less from blocking. Uh, we will do... Uh, do we just hit it with... Do we just take the 7 damage and then double tap it? Oh, go on then. We'll do that. There we go. Just cause loads of damage to it. Especially when, you know, one card would only give us 3 blocks. It seems sort of pointless. So it looks like they're going to... Uh, 
block. Uh, we've got Heavy Blade there and Intimidate. Well, we'll apply weak to it. We might as well. Um, it's free, even though it's not attacking. We'll go for Fire Breathing, and then we'll go with this Heavy Blade, which means we'll whack it for 9, and then our Fire Breathing will kick in at the end of the turn for 1 damage. So it's strengthening itself. Uh, 10 hits on that one. Uh, we're going to counter that with our armor, then gain some strength, and then whack it for a total of 10 damage, because a 9 from that one, and then one for the flame. 18 health left. Not too bad. We're going to block that attack. So we've probably bested them here. Um, right, the question is, can I kill it? Two. Yes, I can. I can. Whack it for that, and then whack it for that. Job done because it was vulnerable. And then another card, we've got Entrench, double the block. Not really something we're worried about, uh, worried about. Rage, whenever you play this attack this turn, gain three block. Very good. And uh, Iron Wave, gain five block, deal five damage. Uh, we're going to go with that. So we're getting close to the boss. Um, let's see what we have here. We've got a Slaver. It's hitting us for 13. I'm going to fully block that and then just whack it for one. And it's charging, and it's going to hit me for 8, I will go for... Oh, okay. Well, we're going to go with Rage. Whenever you... What was that again? Rage is... Whenever you play an attack, gain 3 block. So we'll go for 5 block, and then we'll, gain, we'll go up to 8 with when we do an attack, which is either going to be... Well, it's either 14 or 20. I think we'll pick the 20, shall we? Um, and there we go, and then it'll hit back for 8 totally blocked. So we've got some synergy going here. Ooh, 12. That's all kinds of bad. Uh, intimidate. We'll put, apply weak to it, so that'll reduce that to 9. Um, question is, can we kill it? Um, we cannot kill it. We cannot kill it. Um, I can use double tap, though, and then do bash. Oh, we can kill it. Oh, because the first attack applied weak, and then we followed up with the next one. Right, so it's stacked. Excellent, then. Um, seeing red, gain two an exhaust. Armaments, gain five block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. True grit. I think we'll go for seeing red. And then we have this, which is our... Uh, well, what do we do here? So we can either rest or smith. I think we're going to rest to get full health. Um, I don't think it's strictly necessary, but we're going to play it safe. Because at the end of this fight... At the end of each stage, you gain full health anyway. So, it's um, the Guardian. Uh, its main thing is it's got mode shift. After receiving 30 damage, it changes to defensive mode. Well, we're going to stack up for the long fight. So, we're going to use Seeing Red. So, gain some... Um, well, gain an energy. Well, it says gain two, but obviously it just cost us two. Uh, so, it costs us one, but we gain two. So, net positive plus one. Let's go for uh, Fire Breathing. And then we're going to go for a Cheeky Bash. And then we'll go for a Strike and then end that turn, and then two damage because we put the fire breathing at the start. So it's going to hit us for about 30 damage probably here. 32 damage. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's going to be problematic. We're going to go with uh, Ghostly Armor. Uh, rage. Defense. Um, apply six poison on them as well, because why not? Um, we might as well gain an artifact as well in case it tries to debuff us, and then whack it for that, and then end the turn, and then we're going to take a bit of a pound in... Oh no! That, right, the poison that I put on it took it over that threshold for the damage, and now it's gone into defensive mode. Um, it's going to hit me for nine damage. I've got no defensive cards in here. So we're going to go within flame, and then we will go with a heavy bash, which is... Yeah, a nice bit of damage there, but we did take some back because they've now got thorns, or sharp hide, I guess, when we play attack, take, uh, take, take three damage. So, yeah, so we're now going to take a bit of damage here, but as I said, at, at this point, I mentioned earlier that your most precious resource is this hit point, um, naturally, because, you know, <laughs> if that goes to zero, you die. But um, what I meant is that you want to save that up, and I would say save that up and use your um, resting for, sorry, use the um, campfires for upgrading rather than resting. It's generally a good rule of thumb, I think. Uh, but on this fight, as soon as we finish it, we heal to full health anyway. So we don't really care too much about this now. Well, we care about it going not to zero. But other than that, we're not too bothered. Um, defend, defend, and just attack it for a little bit. Uh, you noticed our, we didn't take any damage, but we did lose our uh, defense there because of the thorns that they've got. And now it's transformed into a bigger form. It's going to hit us for five times four. Okay, so um, we're going to go with the armor, naturally. Um, and we could just tank up, so defend and defend. Um, 
Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. I think we'll rage. We'll defend, and then we will attack it for nine. We have to, we have to keep hitting it, that's the thing. If we just sit back and do nothing, then it's uh, not going to work out too well for us. So it's attacking us for a fair bit of damage there, but most of that was blocked, which is good. It's now going to block itself. Um, oh, double tap. The perfect draw. Perfect draw. Double tap. Heavy blade. Get transformed. <laughs> and then end the turn. I've never gone with this build before. That's what uh, keeps surprising me the game. They just the sheer amount of cards that are in it. And as you uh, level up, you get... Uh, when you fail... <laughs> um, when you do fail it, you uh, gain ex experience and stuff, and you unlock more cards. Uh, it's going to attack us for nine. We'll put a cheeky block in there, and then uh, we'll just hit it for for a little bit and apply a vulnerable. And so we have to keep hitting it. It's on 102 there. Sadly, the last of the the last of their um, poison's gone now. And heavy blade again. Wow, we keep drawing that thing. Um, ah, I should have played Rage, Rage, Rage first. In my haste, I've made a mistake. Oh, well. Uh, it's transformed now, so it's... Uh, I Also, I probably don't need to use that artifact uh, drink because this doesn't do any debuffs. Well, the debuffs it does is just they'll hit me for a lot of damage. And this is where things are going from bad to worse because it's going to do... Uh, yeah, it's going to do 20 damage and I've got no defense here. And I don't think I can cause enough to... Uh, Get it transformed. No, we need to cause a lot more than that. Oh, well, I guess we'll just take the damage. But as I said, I'm not too bothered about going low. Uh, still on 33 health, so it's not terrible. Um, double tap. The next card we play. Oh, the next two. This turn, the next two attacks are played twice. Okay. So that's played twice. And then we'll do strike. And there we go. Yeah, so it's the next two attacks played uh, twice, not the next attack played three or whatever. So I got a slightly wrong one I was reading that earlier. Um, right, it's going to attack us for... Do I care? Not particularly. Bang. <laughs> I just looked at the numbers and thought, yeah, we'll just hit it with a big mace. Um, there we go. So, Gambler's Brew. Discard a number of cards and then draw that many and get a card for our deck. So, choose a card. Uh, what was that? Uh, feed Fire. Uh, exhaust all cards in your hand. Seven damage for each card exhausted. Demon form at the start of your turn, gain two strength and juggernaut. Whenever you gain block, deal five damage from random enemy. We're going to go with demon form, Blame. form, form, um, and that will be us. And then we open this chest up and we get a relic, so a busted crown, gain two energy at the start of your turn. F uh, future card rewards have uh, future card rewards have two less cards to choose from, so we only get one option if we get that. Uh, Runic Dome gain one energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy tal uh, intents. That's bad. And Tiny House. <laughs> one pickup, obtain one portion. Gain 50 gold. Raise your max HP by five. Obtain one card. One random upgrade card as well. Um, the I don't like that. No longer see enemy intent. Don't like that at all. The Busted Crown's better. But we get cards that are going to be few and far between which not only is a disadvantage because well when you get the cards obviously you want to build it to your you want to take the cards that are going to be complement your build and your strategy but if you take all if you just take all of the cards then you're just going to fill your deck with stuff you don't want and then you're going to be drawing things you don't want and just endlessly discarding or whatever so you have to keep it keep the deck lean um I'm still going to go with it, though, because I think it's the best out of all of them. And there we go. That was uh, the first act, and we're on to the second one. We will not be progressing on any further, because otherwise this video would be far too long. And that has been some Slay the Spire, a game that I shouldn't have liked, and certainly from reading the description, I would have not even bothered with it. I wouldn't have given it a second look, but friends persisted and said, no, you should give it a go, and I'm really glad I did. If you like what you see, then by all means, check the link out in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.